Hello everyone, it's Danielle here from DKW Styling. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am here at my home studio today and I just wanted to talk to you guys about, today's topic is, can you pull your hair up with hair extensions? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started. Are new to my YouTube channel, um, I created a hair extension system called Natural Beauty Rose. You may have heard of it, you may not have, but rose are kind of like the biggest, hottest trending thing when it comes to hair extensions. Um, I currently wear them in my hair, and it, it's one of the biggest questions we get with clients or on our Instagram page, which is Natural Beauty Rose Extensions, or you can follow me on DKW Styling. But on Instagram, people are always asking, like, can you pull your hair up? Can you put it in a top knot? I wanna see it in a ponytail. So I decided, why not? I'm just gonna do a video and show and share with you guys how I pull mine up and so you can see how easy it is to do it. I don't even have a mirror here, so it'll just go to show when I do pull it up, you can't see them and all that good stuff. I've worn every type of extension you can imagine and with tapes or glue or beads or single, any kind of single bonded one, I felt like I had to pull it up and make sure everything was covered because my natural hair is really, really fine. Gosh, I'm like talking with my hands a lot. I'm like, guys, I do hair, can you tell? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started. So when you can always do the mid pony, this is the mid pony, obviously, right? It's just pulled halfway up. If I'm gonna do the mid pony on my hair, I'll go through the crown and I'll tease it really, really good because I nobody likes a flat crown. So I'm just gonna kind of demo each ponytail really, really quickly. Just a little bit of a tease. And I am a big fan of a messy pony. It doesn't have to be perfect. My only thing is I just hate that flat spot right there. Okay, pull some out around my face. Sometimes I'll pull this out a little bit. Give me a little more height. And voila, there is your mid pony. Spray it if you like, you know. But like if you're just running out of the house and you don't have 25 minutes and you're like, can I just do a cute half up messy pony? Actually, it's not half up, this is all the way up. <laughs> so yes, you can do a mid pony. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's take it out. I'm gonna show you how I do. This is like how I do my hair when I'm going to work out. I flip my head all the way upside down. Okay. Wait for it, did I get it up? Yeah. Okay, so then this is how I do my big top knot. Can you see my extensions in there? And you guys, I have no hair in here. You can see how sparse I am. Kids will do that to you. Kids will do that to you. Okay, so I've got it up in my big messy top knot. All I'm doing, everyone's always asking, how do you do that messy bun? Just don't pull it all the way through. So you're gonna pull it up here. See how I've got it wrapped? And this is where I start to kind of turn that. Can you guys see? So I'm kind of turning this and then pulling it through there. And then I pull it apart. If it's too slicked here, I'll go in and pull this forward just a little bit. And then if I'm going to work out, cause if this is like flopping around, it'll drive me nuts. I'll take another elastic and I'll place it over the top a couple times. And then it's just a little bit more secure. Now, if you're, if these windows, my cul-de-sacs, <laughs> if those windows drive you nuts or you're just really, really sparse there, you can always take a tinted dry shampoo. This is by Bumble and Bumble and it has a little bit of a, a tint. Can you see that? This one is the light brown, um, probably my favorite. The dark brown's too dark on me and the blonde one is like a white powder, so it shows. So I'll spray a little bit sometimes right in those windows to give me just a little bit more coverage. And then again, like I said, it, just pull this forward a little bit. Spray those flyaways out of the way. Voila, so there is a big messy bun. I'm gonna turn around, can you guys see? If it's, you can always loosen it here a little bit. But there you go. There's my top knot. 
This is my workout, workout bun. This is my 6 a.m. mom bun, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> so that is Natural Beauty Rose pulled up and you can see how easy that is. So I was like, that's it, I'm doing a video. I'm gonna jump on with you guys and just show you how I quickly pull mine up. You can also do um, half up hairstyles if you want. A lot of times I'll do that little mid messy bun where I, again, you can't see them, they hide pretty good. And I'll come in here, let's see if I have a little elastic. I love the half up messy bun. So I'll do this, even this is cute. Just throw it half, halfway up. You can pin a few pieces through here. But I, the reason I'm doing this video, I'm not trying to perfect it, I just wanna show you the versatility with Natural Beauty Rose and how you can quickly pull it up and do messy buns and live life like a real girl. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. In this video also too, I wanted to share just like some products that I use with my hair extensions that I can't, can't live without. And I try not to do a ton of hair product just because I want my blowout to last um, at least two or three days. So I don't do a ton of product. Now with extensions, a lot of extensions, I, the only thing I use when it's wet is this 12 Benefit spray. This stuff is amazing. Just probably like three or four sprays here, three or four sprays here, a couple through the top and you're good to go. That's a favorite detangling spray. Um, with extensions, most of hair extensions, they have a silicone on them. And as the silicone wears off, the hair will expand. And don't freak out if this happens. You'll just need a dime size amount of your argan oil. I currently like this one by Unite. It's a, their U oil. But just a tiny bit of that, work it through your ends. And that helps to kind of smooth and soften your, your hair extensions. Um, I always love a good dry shampoo. This one is by Bumble again. I like this one because it's a little bit tinted. And then the other one that I use that's a little bit more lightweight that we carry at my salon is the seven second refresher. And I don't know if you girls do this, but I actually like a little bit of dry shampoo on day one because I have really fine slippery hair. So I'll sometimes even do a, a few a few squirt sprays, <laughs> a, few, a few sprays on the top of my hair. And then you can also go in between the rows a little bit at, just to kind of soak up some of that oil if you didn't, if it's day two or day three. Okay, and then my other must-have product is a wet brush. If you don't know what a wet brush, I feel like all girls do. This is an amazing extension brush because you can literally run it right over the top of your hair extensions. Um, and then last but not least, this is my favorite um, hairspray. I use it on a ton of my videos. It's by Redken. It's their Forceful 23. A little bit of that. It's actually not that forceful. I feel like I should tell you that. This name maybe is deceiving. I think it's like, it should just be called the perfect amount of hold. That's what it should be called. <laughs> because it's just, it holds, but it's not sticky. I hate a sticky or a wet hairspray. This one is a lightweight or a, a lightweight spray, but it has a, a decent amount of hold, but not too forceful. So those are some of my favorite products that I'm using with extensions. And, and yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick demo on how to pull your hair extensions up, specifically with Natural Beauty Rose. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. My main goal is just to kind of show you the versatility with hair extensions and specifically with Natural Beauty Rose. If you want more information on me, click on the link below this video. That'll take you directly to my blog and you can also shop some of these products I use in this video. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time. So you've seen a little bit of the process. Now come experience the process. All you need to do is click the link below. That's gonna take you directly to my blog where you can go to my contact page and reach out to me. Whether you're a curious student or you're just another girl that loves hair, either way, don't be shy. Make sure to click on the link below.